Are you ready for the truth about cancer and stem cells? We asked veteran physician Dr. Nicholas Gonzalez when he was on the panel at the Functional Forum, and he shared this. Casper Blond was the great surgeon at the University of Vienna during the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, and he wrote two books in the 1950s, one called The Liver and the other called The Liver and Cancer, which is about 450 pages. That any, everyone in medicine, whether cancer-related or not, should, be, should read both those books. His, uh, his attitude toward cancer was a misguided healing response. Now, he didn't understand the molecular biology of stem cells. Of course, now there's a whole movement in a conventional oncology led by Dr. Wick at the University of Michigan, first paper 2002, suggesting that cancer, unlike what we were taught in medical school, the cancer, you know, we were taught develops from the mature differentiated cells through some genetic aberration, go backwards in time and can become primitive and, and differentiate and develop all these characteristics of tumor, invasiveness, they multiply without restraint, they're able to go through epithelial linings, et cetera, which normal tissues can't, cells can't do. Um, currently, the people like Dr. Wicker believe that cancer doesn't develop from mature differentiated cells that go backwards in time and develop all these characteristics that the mature healthy cells don't have, but actually develop from stem cells, which are these primitive undifferentiated cells with multi uh, p potentiality, develop all kinds of different cells that are located in every tissue in our body whose function, is, as most of you, the scientists, certainly here and physicians know, serve a purpose. They are regenerative. They provide the, the, the reservoir cells to replace those lost through injury, disease, death, and normal turnover, like in the intestinal tract. And without stem cells, none of us could live like two weeks. Our intestines would rot away. Wicca believes cancer develops from the stem cells, not the mature differentiated cells. And he explains that's why chemo doesn't work most of the time, because it knocks out the differentiated cells in the tumor, but the stem cells are immune to it. Stem cells actually serve a useful function. We couldn't live without them. With cancer, we're dealing with stem cells that go awry. Who, the stem cells are there to help us live and they have a, a, they'll have some kind of stimulus that st stimulates them into kind of a reparative mode, but it goes out of control and you end up with these primitive undifferenti undifferentiated cancer cells. Dr. Beard, 102, uh, 110 years ago, first suggested that these primitive undifferentiated cells, which he called germ cells, but which are really what we call today stem cells, are the real cores call, core, core of cancer that doesn't develop from the mature differentiated cells. So actually, Dr. Blond's work, which was more from a surgeon's perspective, and Wicca's work at Michigan really kind of show that cancer is a misguided healing response, and that it's the stem cells that we need to live that just lose the direction and grow uncontrollably and display all their characteristics molecularly that are safe, can help us live, but they go, they're, they're just not controlled, they're dysregulated, and that's what leads to cancer. Thanks for watching, and for more great clips like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. I've created a special free video just for you. It's called The Simple Prescription to a Thriving Practice, and it'll give you some starting points on how to build a strong, sustainable, community-focused practice. All you have to do is sign up and click the link below.